Hello friends, welcome to Embedded Gate. In this video, I am going to show you how to read and how to write data to Thingspeak server. First, we are going to create Thingspeak account. For that, open your web browser. Search for Thingspeak. Open this link. Click on profile picture. I have already account with Thingspeak server. So I am going to directly log in with my account. If you don't have account, then click here. This is login ID. And enter password. Click on sign in option. This is the main page of Thingspeak server. Now create new channel from here. Assign name to your channel. I am going to assign embedded gate. Now select field 1 which is already selected. And save channel. Now you can see the field 1 is here. Add widgets and add numerical display. Field is field 1 and press OK. Here you will see the digital display of field 1. Now click on API keys. Here two API keys are there. First is for writing purpose and second one is for reading purpose. Copy this link. We call this as a write API key. Open new browser and paste this link and change field one value to any other value. I am going to assign value 1, 2, 3 and press enter. Now go to the private view and you will see the same value is updated here. You can change this value as many as time you want. See, the new value is updated here. Our task is read this value in Raspberry Pi. I am going to open Tony IDE. First, I am going to create new file and save this file. Assign name to your file. I am going to assign test2.py. First library I am going to import is request. Using this library, we can easily read and write data to Thingspeak server. Next line I am going to write the while loop. The code we, we have write in while loop are going to execute continuously. Next line we have write method request.get. From this function we get response of URL. Here we are going to write this URL. Paste this URL in between two inverted commas. Now whichever the response is get from this URL, I am going to store in variable x. In next line, I am going to write if condition if x dot status code equal to equal to 200. 
that i have write this line because whenever we hit the api keys and we get a response to 200 then the data is successfully updated i am going to create one variable and whichever the response got from the link i am going to convert that response in json format and now i am going to print that response now run the code now you will see the response is printed here i am going to copy one of the response here and paste this response in new file i need only one response <laughs> so i am going to delete last three lines and next i am going to convert this line into a readable format After the re rearranging data, the data will look like this. Now you can see the data start with the curly bracket and end with the curly bracket. The data which is in curly bracket, we call this data as the dictionaries. Now I am going to show you one example. I will write here python dictionaries open any link I'm go I'm go with the w3 school now you can see here the dictionary is going to start and end with the curly bracket and here data is assigned using the colon I am going to refer this example. Now suppose there is one dictionary is there and three data are there. Each are assigned using a column. If I run this code and print the value, you can see the value is printed here. I am going to do same thing in my example. If you check in program two dictionaries are there first is channel and second one is feeds so in code i am going to print feeds only in square bracket in double inverted commas i am going to write here feeds now stop first and run run and you can see the data is in fields that only prints you can see the field data is in square bracket square bracket represents the list there are two lists in a fields option 0th and 1th we want to print only this this data that's why i am going to write here one in square bracket and press run key you will see that second data is only it's going to print on output in this data we need only value of field one now another there is a data is start with the cur open and close curly bracket means this is the dictionary now we want to value we want value of field 1 we going to do same thing which which we have do earlier 
in square bracket in double inverted commas write field 1 stop and run the code now you will see the value whichever the available on field 1 in the server now you can change value to I am going to write here 432 and you will see the same value is updated here suppose you want to read two fields to read the two fields go to the channel setting now check this box here for field 2 and save changes in channel now we have two fields field 1 and field 2 create digital box for field 2 select field 2 and create there is a field 2 we have not uploaded any data to field 2 to upload data the procedure is same add and here write field 2 and equal to value enter you will see the value of field 2 here now suppose we want to read the field 1 and field 2 then if I write here directly field 2 then we can get the value of field 2 here you will see the output the value is 3 to 1 ok now suppose we want to read data of field 1 and field 2 at same time then we can assign variable here like suppose I am going to assign f1 equal to I am going to copy this response and paste here and write field 1 here same f2 equal to paste and now print f1 and same next line print f2 stop the code and run you will see the value of f1 and f2 if you want you can change value of f1 and f2 here I am going to change to any other value enter open code and you will see the same value here now we have successfully read the updated data from the thingspec server now suppose we want to upload the data to thingspec server to upload the data I am going to use same example first I am going to comment out this program which is in while loop for commenting I am going to use three inverted commas at the start and at the end next I am going to use one variable to store the response for uploading the data we are going to use the method post and in circle bracket I am going to write the link which is available on Thingspeak server copy this link
and paste this link in circle bracket in between double inverted commas change value of fade 1 to 42 now i am going to check the response if the response is 200 then data is successfully updated here in if condition i am printing message data updated stop the code and run you will see the message data updated stop the code and open things with server private view you will see the updated data on field 1 the value is 43 Now change the value. Run the code. Open things with server. And after some time, you will see the updated value. Now stop the code. For field 2, write AND and after that keyword field 2 equal to the value and run the code. Open browser. In ThinkSpeak server, you will see the updated value of field 2. Stop, stop the code. Now suppose, suppose you want to update the data of sensors to ThinkFix server. Here I am going to take two variables F1 and F2. I have assigned value here. then you can write value here directly you have to use the string concept write double inverted comma plus for string write str in circle bracket write f1 whichever the integer value available in f1 we have converted to string then plus do same procedure for f2 run the code data is updated successfully open browser and you will see the updated value here you can use any sensor to store value in f1 and f2 run stop open the data is updated. You can download this code from video description. Thanks for watching.